Join us on this episode as the boys head in for a week-long trip with their new gun into the rugged mountains of New Zealand. On this adventure, it's Noah, Harry and their mate Jared, or Minnie as he's known to us. It's the Red Stag Rut, or Raw, as it's known in New Zealand, which is the ultimate time to go out and trace yourself a trophy stag. Thankfully, the weather played ball for most of the trip, and the boys were able to locate some nice animals. This trip did not disappoint, so come along for the ride and check out how the boys got on. Welcome to another Clark Boys hunting adventure. Come along with us three brothers as we hunt all over New Zealand for all sorts of different animals. There's no shortage of awesome opportunities to get out and go hunting in New Zealand, so come along with us as we go chase another adventure. Well, it's um, early raw here. We're just heading in for our first raw hunt of the year down south. Um, it's just walking in now. It's about. 2.30 we're gonna go stay maybe at the hut tonight if not we'll push on a bit further we'll see how we're going for time but uh, pretty excited we've got a week in here the stags should be starting up pretty soon or well, if not they've already started so boys just behind me it's a pretty hot day it feels pretty like summer down here but weather's supposed to pack in a bit tomorrow night the next day so it's supposed to go a bit cold so then it's supposed to clear up so it should be good hunting after that but yeah see how we get on sweeting like a bush pig all right uh, on this trip we've uh, managed to get given this nice new Benelli lupo yeah and it's uh, pretty cool um, just only got it like a few days ago so had to quickly rush around and get it all set up. It's got the bur burris scope on it. It's got the uh, Bluetooth you can set up to your bullet, so you just have to quickly put that in. Sure. Yeah, we just got factory load bullets because we didn't have time to reload, but you just it has the each type of bullet in there, and you just get the app and yeah, you and Sam did connect that. it to that bullet. And yeah, it seemed to shoot pretty good. It worked out yeah, the drop for us. A few, good sh few shots over. 300 and then one over 400 and it was pretty good so mm. it's gonna be, be better once we can actually have a bit more time to play around with it too but uh, we're hoping to knock over a stag this trip with it so um, it'll be cool and uh, yeah hopefully we get to put it to the test it's, uh, it's about five o'clock now and we're gonna go for a bit of a wander tonight not expecting to see much but we'll go for a look and you never know we might hear a roar so head off soon dinner on the first day uh, didn't see anything when we went for our little walk but it's good to get out get up here and uh, have a bit of a glass round and just uh, excited for the next few days gonna probably gonna push up to the tops tomorrow even though the weather's looking pretty horrific for a couple of days but we'll get up there and hopefully get a good camp going somewhere sheltered and then just wait for the storm to pass through and then it should be good after that just having a that country and yeah it's good to get in the bush after a couple of days traveling all right we've uh, got up early this morning and uh, packed all our gear and we're gonna head up to the tops the winds picked up already but I'm hoping it's just gonna be windy and not rainy until tonight so who knows we'll uh, get up there and hopefully can find a good camp and yeah could be an experience up there with this weather coming but don't know until you try, you gotta try and be up in the good spot when the fall when the weather does clear up, so I'll say that now. We probably definitely regret not staying at the hut, but mm. too keen, but I'll give it a crack. Get into it.
creek and then cut off up to the tops and had a quick glass just while we were having a break and spotted two deer, a spiker and a young stag. They just walked off into the manuka so we didn't get a video of them but we, got, we did get an ID, they were just little ones so keep looking here for a bit and then keep heading up to the top. So far the weather's all good, probably be pretty windy up the top but down here it's real nice and not too hot for travelling so get into it. Play around with it or something. What happened, Harry? Do you want to tell oh, us? Well, we're pretty wrapped with ourselves. <laughs> Found a good campsite, digging away for an hour or so, and then Noel goes to get the tent out. And I've got two tents. One of the tents is missing poles, so pretty gutting. So it's going to be a snug fit. Whoa, the wind's picking up too. Yeah. A big couple days. Three blokes in a two-man tent for a couple no, of nights. No, I reckon he's going to sleep under the fly, but I reckon he'll be joining us in the tent <laughs> when the snow comes down. Rain's coming in sideways. Whose fault was it? I don't know who to blame. Well, well, it's probably my fault. If, if Sam took them out, yeah, but I, but I should, we should have checked when I was looking. It's Sam's <laughs> fault. He's yeah. not here, but it's his fault. <laughs> we should have checked. It's Sam's fault. No, yeah. we were in a hurry. And that's what happens when you're in a hurry, eh? Yeah. We'll survive. We'll make do, eh? Right, we've just set up camp. Not the best camp in the world. A bit disappointing about forgetting the tent poles for one of the tents, but we'll make it work. And um, as we were setting up the tent, a couple of stags started going off down in the gully, so hopefully he's on our side and he's a better stag. Go have a look now before, get, before it starts raining too much. It didn't take long for the boys to start picking up the odd stag around the place. They were still roaring a bit, so it made it easy to find where they were. Where is it between those, below those three trees? Just, just below here. This was the stag that they could hear roaring from camp. He wasn't quite what they were after, so they kept so looking, they and eventually they picked this one out a bit further away. This was the best stag that they'd seen so far on the trip. He was a nice eight-pointer that looked like he had a little bit of age, but they just watched him, thinking maybe there'd be something better that would pop out. Despite looking for another hour, they didn't spot any other stags of note, and the clag started rolling in, so they made their way back to camp. Alright, we're just back at camp now, um, the wind picked up so we came back to camp and cooked dinner, now we're just waiting for it to get dark so that we can go to bed, um, it's going to be a tight squeeze in the tent, all three of us in there, but um, hopefully we're tired enough so we all just fall asleep and wake up and the weather isn't too bad in the morning, See, see what happens anyway. around all morning but finally we've got going with us being quite nice so we've decided to get all our gear and um, <clears throat> head off for a bit of a hunt it's a good glassing spot like literally 20 meters from camp so we've just been going out there and looking and spotted probably half a dozen deer or so but no decent <laughs> animals it's heaps of roars down the gully so we might head off and check out another little gully and yeah, I'll get an update on the weather, so we can make a plan from there.
After scanning the hills for a couple of hours and only picking up deer that they'd seen the day before, they decided to pull up and head over the other side of the ridge and look into a different valley, hoping to spot something a bit bigger than this eight-pointer. Looks like a bit more of a mature animal. I think it's that eight. Pointer. Fucking fat thing. Big fat looking. They had hardly sat down over the other side of the ridge when they spotted this nice looking stag down below them. Just spotted a good stag. Looks like a real good one. Um, it might be a big 10 or it could be a 12. Looks like he's got a few little tops so it looks real nice. We're going to drop down before he's sort of heading away from us towards the bush which is an ideal but he, sh he should stay around hopefully. I'll get going. Afterwards, let's get down to that rock and you might be able to shoot him from there. Let's go, boys. Let's go get our shit and get down there. Down. Yeah, yes. he's down. down. Yes. He's down. Yes. Just before the rain. Yeah. Work, boys. Oh. Got him. Might yeah. have to put the camera away pretty quick, but had to just quickly oh. charge, charge down the hill, and he was heading off because it was raining. Got him. He's about 420. Boys said a good hit, so put okay, the camera away and you know, get the GoPro out. All right, we'll quickly chuck the other camera away because it's fucking pissing down. Literally got him like just in time. Must have done a real good shot, and then he said he tipped up. So if I seen him, he wasn't going far. When no. I seen him, might have to do a 400 meters. I don't know what the plan is from here. Uh, I think our pack's already wet, aren't they? I'm hoping this passes through quite quick. It's like, as you can see, from here up there. Yeah. Yeah. If we didn't get that stag, we'd be like, for fuck's sake, we should have stayed at camp. Yeah. I didn't bring any. It's sort of stopped raining enough now to drop down here, and then hopefully we can get up. It looks pretty steep down there, but figure it out as we go. Um, we had a look at the footage and looks good, like a good shot, right behind the shoulder by the look, so you've seen him, you've seen him fall over in the video, so um, yeah, we'll start making our way down and hopefully this rain stays away. Well, he wrapped though. Boys are battling. It's not too far now, we think. We can see the light, eh? Hey? Yeah. Two thirds, I reckon. I just made it up till we think about 20 metres away from the stag, so drop down and see if we can find him. Somewhere right here. Here he is. I'd say. Found him now. 
might be like it's called some nice animals. Yeah. We're going to have to try getting something that we can yeah. actually see. Looks like a nice animal. Can't see antlers at the moment. Is there any openings below? Just found him, dragged him down to a spot where we can have a photo and stuff. I'm pretty wrapped with him. He's nice 10 pointer he's got nice points on him so missing bays obviously but they quite often are in here but it's just cool to get a nice stag down pretty wrapped with that got to um butcher him take some meat and the head and head back up to our packs which are quite far away and it must be about three o'clock now so packs away up there somewhere aren't they? that ridge stoked with that though who there our packs are yeah Stag down, solid unit thing, isn't it? It's quite orange, yeah. yeah. Full by look. And his hips. Look how he's scarred. You think we didn't get him there? It ended up being a pretty big day by the time the boys butchered the stag, carried it all the way down to the bottom of the valley before heading back up to where the rest of the packs were. They were pretty knackered by the time they got back to the gear, but they had a good feeling of accomplishment having managed to secure a nice stag. When they did finally make it back to camp, they were able to settle in, enjoy some fresh meat around the campfire and enjoy the spoils of a hard day. Because it was quite early on in the raw, this stag didn't taste too rutty, which was a pleasant surprise for the boys. It was going to be some great fuel for the upcoming days and the rest of their trip. They still had plenty of country to look over over the next few days and hopefully would stumble onto another good stag. That's the end of this episode guys, but if you want to watch the next one, all you have to do is watch to the end of this one and there'll be a video pops up down the bottom there. Tap on that and you can see how they got on for the rest of the trip. In the meantime, here's a little sneak peek at what you've got to look forward to in the next episode. We're extremely grateful to be supported by a good group of sponsors. If you've got any questions about any of the gear that we use, please don't hesitate to get in touch or hit us up on our other social media like Instagram or Facebook. Thanks for watching guys, we really appreciate all the support. If you want to keep up with what we're doing before it goes to YouTube, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Until next time, we'll catch you later.